Hey, what's up? It's Refresh. I'm a streamer on Twitch.tv and let me welcome you to a brand new video and a brand new exciting and Sonic. That's right, we've got a shiny new sidearm, people. It's called the Cryothesia 77K. Am I saying that right? Cryothesia? Apparently, this is a gift from Mifrax, your friendly neighborhood fallen, that helped us get the outbreak effect so many years ago. Like, what was he thinking when he named this thing? Plugs obviously got bored since his mission got sunset. Poor lad. In this video, I'll be covering how to get it, what its perks are, its PvE and PvP viability, plus looking into things like damage fall off, its TTK, and finally, is it any good? Still with me? Grab the popcorn and let's go. Cryostesia 77K is a 260 RPM sidearm that, unlike Dead Man's Tail and Hawkmoon, does not come with random rolls. Also, as of right now, the Cryostesia joins Salvation's Grip as the only weapon in the game to deal stasis damage and hopefully, after this guide, you'll find it a lot more useful. It comes with Polygonal Rifling and Particle Repeater, which gives us a total of 47 stability, polymer grip for better handling and liquid cooling which is its freezing ability that when a charge shot is fired targets are instantly frozen at the cost of the weapon's entire magazine now to achieve a charge shot however you must engage the exotic's intrinsic trait by holding the trigger much like the devil's ruin if you want to get your hands on this guardians have two routes they can take to unlock the Christesia. for season pass holders it's unlocked right off the bat for you no fuss no muss if, however, you don't want to spend a few thousand silver getting one, you'll have to level up to tier 35 on this season to unlock this sidearm. Additionally, once you're at level 100, you unlock the exotic ornament for the sidearm, which looks quite retro-futuristic. Quite cool, eh? For many hardcore players who have collected a ton of bounties before the start of the season and love grinding out content, hitting level 35 will be no problem. However, for the other breed of player that has less time on their hands, there are six tiers of EXP mods you can put into your Ghost, ranging from 2% all the way up to 12% EXP bonus. Additionally, try to cash in your bounties when within a fire team for the EXP boost after you unlock the small fire team XP boost reward at season level 5. If you're liking the video so far and want to help support the channel, drop me a like or subscribe below, people. It really helps more content creators like myself out. Now, to the PvP sandbox, which I've got to say is a little overrun at the moment with a specific flavour of weapon choice. So trying to get some footage and rumble slapping guardians with this thing would give even Frostball a run for his money. But hey, it's me guys, and I never back down in the face of content. So I jumped into a nice safe private game, and after getting the liquid cooling to proc on the initial guardian, the follow-up burst will insta-freeze them for free damage for around 1.2 seconds. Unlike grenades and special abilities, you instantly come out of it, so cleaning up after quickly is essential. Another nice feature is that there is an AoE explosion of 2-3 to three meters around guardians that are shattered that will hit for 130 HP. The damage fall off though, it starts at around 17 meters, hitting 40 to the body and 57 to the head, meaning a 4 shot kill if one is to the head and 5 if all are to the body. This gives us a max TTK of around 0.692 seconds, which is not too shabby, especially with the 93 aim assist. Now, jumping into PvP, this sidearm shines as an ad clearer with its great recoil, relative range, and again, aim assistance. However, its magazine size of 13 is somewhat restrictive. I've been using it to get the liquid cooling on one ad, then freeze the other, and while my magazine is empty, using my backup weapon to finish them off, causing the AoE damage effect. The freezing aspects of this sidearm could potentially be used to insta free bosses if enough people could chain it together, but good luck doing that. So, in summary, the TTK on this thing is sub 0.7 seconds, so it's possible it could be used to shut down shotgun runners, then insta-freeze their partner, and then even kill the third after you shattered the second. PvE action is decent for ad clearing, especially if you abuse the AoE explosion and use the freeze on annoying mages, your teammates can then focus on cleaning them up afterwards. Also, the catalyst will make it a ton easier to maintain a nice flow between kills and reloading when it finally drops. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to catch up with me before the next one, I stream Destiny on Twitch.tv regularly, link below.